Hey Grace Church, this is Scott, and this is the week of February 27th, which actually means it's the first week of March, that's crazy. Well, I wanna welcome you to the weekly, and today we're talking about the power and authority of Jesus. Well, as you know, we've been talking through the Gospel of Mark, and we started by looking at what the Gospel is, and, and through uh, Genesis to Revelation, and that Gospel message and the theme that goes throughout. And then we moved on to the temptation of Christ and, and the adventure Jesus has in the wilderness. And then last week and last Sunday, we talked about uh, Jesus' first words in Scripture and his, his first call uh, of his first and early disciples. And then this week, he makes a shift and he makes a change. And, and so up until now, he's been, he's been exercising his authority through his words, through his voice, through his message. And then he starts through his disciples. And so in this week, though, it makes a shift because in verses 21 through 34, as we talked about on Sunday, we see Jesus in action. So not just words, but in action. And so we see that Jesus is teaching in a Sabbath service in a synagogue. And when he teaches, he teaches with what's called authority. And then there's a man there, if you remember, that has a demon, an unclean spirit inside of him. And Jesus is able to cast out that demon. And people are just amazed. The word that's used is what we translate as astonished. And they went crazy. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. They couldn't believe what they were hearing. And it says that they were astonished and amazed because he taught and he did these things with authority. And this word exosia is the Greek word, which is where we get the word author from. He did it differently, like no other rabbi, no, no other scribe that was teaching in the synagogues of that day. And so on Jesus, or on Sunday, we talked about how Jesus demonstrated his power and his authority, and he did so through submission to the Father. And so we see a model in Scripture that holds so much power, um, so much power through the way this early church gathered in the large gathering and then in the ministry at home and how the two are integral, not one without the other. And so uh, the challenge for us is to ask ourselves, are we doing both of those things? Are you coming once in a while to church or are you coming to, on Sundays, but you're not connected in a home, in a small group or a connect group, as we call them here at Grace? And so that's our challenge. And then the second piece of that is what areas of our life have you given yourself or others authority over you uh, outside of Jesus and giving him the authority? And so what are those areas? You know, Jesus performed miracles and he spoke in a way that no one had ever heard. And those miracles and that authority and that power we can have today in 2022, but we are reluctant to give him that throne over our lives, to give him that power and authority over different areas of our lives. And so what are those issues or areas, whether it's the heart inside of you or maybe it's in the home? And would you consider a new level of submission? And I know that's a bad word for some. But in what areas do you need to submit yourself or submit an area of your life over to Jesus so that he can have that power and authority? He can reorient our life so that you and I can have renewal. On this Wednesday marks the beginning of what we have been talking to you about, Lent. The season of Lent where we're going to spend the next 40 days from Wednesday on leading up to Easter devoting and committing ourselves to Christ, where we're calling this the great exchange. We're giving up something, whether it's fasting, fasting from food, or abstaining from certain things in order to commit our lives to Christ. And so we, where we have a need and we regularly go to something, instead of that, we're exchanging for something better, and that's our relationship and to know Jesus more. And so we want to invite you to daily pray, to go through the devotional that we gave you on Sunday and commit yourself, do it daily, fast, commit your life to Christ in a new way. This is a new season. And so our hope for you is that you would commit and devote yourself to Christ in a new way like you never have before. We pray that you and I, we can all submit ourselves to God so that he might infuse in us his power and authority so that we can spread the gospel and impact the kingdom of God. 
We love you, Grace Church. We're praying for you, and we pray that this would be the beginning of a new season for you and for our church here at Grace. Grace.